Hey lovely, welcome to the wig room at Finger Corner. My name is Francine and I'm the creative director here. I was uh, up late last night. I probably should have been in bed, but I was just, you know, kind of scrolling through our feed. And um, one of our customers, this beautiful girl named It's Tea Time. Hi, It's Tea Time. She had posted a, a clip that I just, I didn't know how to react. Like at first I just like died laughing. But anyway, it was this young lady. She's a comedian. Her name is Whitney. And she was on this uh, podcast. I actually am a fan of this podcast called Dear Future Wifey. Um, I love watching it. I feel like it's so insightful just to somebody who's been married myself for decades. But anyway, um, I was watching the, the uh, what had happened to this young lady. Uh, and she handled it so well. I mean, she is a pro. Uh, and she's super funny. What happened was she was, you know, telling her story. Uh, and she was saying something about, like, how God never fails you or something like that. And her wig fell off. And, um, you know, I'm sure she was thinking, well, uh, I just said this, but my wig fell off. <laughs> but I actually think that that was probably something that's going to turn out for her good. At any rate, um, her wig fell off and she handled it like a pro. She was just classy and, um, you know, she's really smart. And her her name is Wit, Wit, Whitney, but like she's super witty too. And she, she sings on her feet. So anyway, the wig fell off. And I was thinking, you know, there are people who this might happen to who are not as funny, who um, may not have the same sense of humor that she has, and who might actually just be a bit embarrassed by that. Um, I actually had an embarrassing uh, wig experience when I was very, very young. So, um, and I didn't handle it like she did. So I wanted to come here and just, I'm usually camera shy. I usually, you know, work behind the scenes only, but I wanted to, you know, come out and uh, be help you guys with this one. So anyway, we have um, a few wigs that I just consider, and it's not just me, but that are just like ride or dies. These, uh, I'd say four of our wigs, we have about oh, over 20 different models of wigs that we, we make in these natural textures and lengths and different volumes and whatnot. But we have about four of them that are just wonderful go-to wigs. And these four wigs, I, I choose these because I see people using these wigs in every aspect and walk of life. Like I have seen people, our customers post videos um, in these wigs uh, doing everything from delivering babies in the wig, um, going shopping, you know, in the wig, going to work, swimming, going to the beach, getting married, like whatever, you know, and these are wigs that they just look so elevated. They just top you off in an amazing way that, and you can put them on super fast. So I consider them ride or dies. And it's funny because I was actually posting um, a, just a picture yesterday uh, on this wig head with this, you know, one of these wigs that I consider to be of that class of wigs that you can just always rely on. I was uh, posting it yesterday and I was thinking to myself, wow, you know, if, if, if wigs were like girlfriends or whatever, these wigs would be wife material. These are wigs that you can like it's your life too, or like, you know, not your life, but you know, your, your everyday routines, they can show, have you ready to show up like super fast. And, you know, again, they can go from wed, uh, uh, weddings to you, yourself getting married or bridesmaids. Um, they can, you can wear them, um, you know, like I said, if you're going swimming, whatever. You will look put together if you put these wigs on right, you know. So anyway, and, and they are usable for all sorts of textures of, of, um, of black hair. Um, I'd say African diasporan hair. There are so many ranges of what those textures can be, but these wigs, you can, they'll work. 
um, if you if you put them on correctly. So um, all that being said, I wanted to just quickly show you um, how to secure this wig properly. So I already have this one pretty secured on her, but I'm just gonna take it off because there's some pins in here and whatnot. I have like, I think four pins. I usually recommend using four pins to get the wig on securely. Um, so I didn't use a wig cap, but let's just say you use a wig cap. So let me put a wig cap on her. Um, you know, her hair is just pulled back. And while I'm doing this, I want to tell you guys a little, share a little fun fact about how we started using these wig heads. Um, you know, prior to the panoramic, I used to always do photo shoots with models. And um, in my background, you know, I worked as a hairstylist in television and uh editorial I toured with you know reporting artists and stuff i always just um you know work with live people but uh during the crisis uh, it was, I consider it like almost like my miracle <laughs> or our miracle at Finger Comer. But during the crisis, we were in the middle of getting a new building. And, um, you know, we were like, what are we going to do? As, 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 you know, as things worked out in what I consider the miracle, um, the, the, building that we got the people who used to own it they used to do wigs for cancer patients so they had when they moved out and they you know we got in the building from them they left like about a hundred wig heads uh in the basement but they were white wig heads um I'll, I'll probably share a picture of what the originals looked like they were white wig heads and they were just in the basement and I, we were just like, you know, we're getting this new building and we don't have, we can't photograph models. So, um, you know, these wig heads were there. So, you know, I just worked them over and, you know, tan them up and, you know, <laughs> whatever. Uh, that's just a little story about how we started working with these wig heads. And, you know, we still do work with models. We're going to be doing more of that as we feel like things have gotten safer. But anyway, um, to secure this unit on your head, our wig, th this particular wig, the, um, the SK, the, the, um, Soft Kinks unit, it, I, I have to think about it because we have so many different units, but this comes with, a. Uh, a set of accordion clips in the front and in the back. Now, the way that our wigs are made is, for the most part, most of our wigs, we make them uh, in sort of a uh, half cap design style so that they can lie really flat on your head, but they are full size. So you can wear them either as um, a half wig or as a full wig. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to wear this as a full wig and to keep it really secure and it goes on super, super quick. So, you know, you get your wig, you, uh, I'm sorry, I have to look because I can see her in the camera and not so much face to face. And you just wanna um, put it on and you want to secure these, okay, hold on, I'm gonna have to turn her over to me, excuse me guys. I'm just going to secure this here like so in the front and i'm going to do the same in the back got to get the legs of my tripod uh, together excuse me guys okay <laughs> so anyway um i've got that on there now and um let's see my eyelashes are doing something Anyway, um, you got that on there and then you want to decide like, do I want this to have a middle part? Do I want this to have a side part? There are so many ways that you can put this wig on. You can put it on if you have alopecia. You can put it on if you want to wear leave out. You can put it on where, um, you know, you make it have like a, an illusion of a parted area. You could pack a part. Um, we'll have to, we have a, like videos on our Instagram page, um, reels that show you all of these different ways to wear it, but we'll try to do more. At any rate, once you get it on there and you decide, you know, how you want this to lay, I think I'm going to just like pull it over like this to this side, like that. And what I like to do at that point 
is to take about four hairpins. If you know, if you're wearing this in real life, I, I suggest four pins. Actually, like it is, it's not coming off. But just for added security, if you're going to be in the wind, the roller coaster, the ocean, I don't know, you want some added security. I just stuck one pin right there. I'm going to do another pin on the other side. One on the top of her head and one in the back. And, you know, oops, I dropped that one. Let me just replace that one in the back. And when you have these uh, pins secured on here, this wig is not going anywhere. Now, the next, this is not about blending, but this is about securing. I'm just gonna throw this one in here to you guys for free, thank me later. I always just keep um, like toothbrushes. I get these little black toothbrushes so that they never uh, get picked up, confused or whatever. <laughs> I just use these little black toothbrushes and I will just um, back comb it a little bit around the edges to make it blend. That way you do not have to, um, you do not have to have leave out, you don't have to, you know, have have a hack it into a U part, none of that. You can just uh, back comb it a little bit like so and be, be good to go. I dropped the, the um, brush. But anyway, guys, I uh, felt compelled to come out from behind the scenes and um, basically just make sure that this doesn't happen to anyone who doesn't have all the grace that Whitney had on that show. I hope that it's helpful. And um, if there are other videos that you guys would like to see, uh, anything else that you'd like to have me walk you guys through, I will be very happy to do it. Just leave it in the comments and I'll do my best. You know, we're very busy around here. We have a full staff, thank God, of women who uh, help us make these wigs. Um, we Even during the pandemic, you know, we were able to have our wigs made. We make these wigs here um, in, in the United States. They're, they're domestically made. So it takes us a little time. And um, I'm always kind of back and forth between designing, um, just making sure that things are running properly. Um, my partner and I, we just have a lot of things to do. So um, let me know what you guys want to hear more about and we'll do our best to come on and share that for you.